Okay. So basically, my whole confession was about the big boys in Bankenfeld and the gay tender premiers in Wood Bank. Mm, it's a thing. Oh, it's definitely a thing. I know you guys hear rumors about guys in Wood Bank getting fucked by gay guys. And I'm here to confirm that it's true. Like, we have a whole scheme from Bankenfeld. Who can come up to you right now and say, Bro, I'll give you 20k if you spend the night with me. Mm. And you, depending on your situation, it's either you're gonna say yes or no. Oh, wait, are you talking about female or my my gents? No, I'm talking about gents. I get it. It's the gay crowd from mm-hmm. Bankenfeld. So they go to clubs and they pick up niggers from the clubs, and they offer them money. Wait, so how do you know this? Cause I fucked a couple of niggers. Who have been in that situation mm. like you know during Peter talk you like keep up access for me things mm. that you can't tell your wife or your girlfriend and to a certain extent I, I think that these people trust me with their stories because who am I gonna tell <laughs> Here, <laughs> but like in real life, <coughs> apart from this, who am I gonna tell? You're telling me back now. I'm not gonna go to my friend and be like, Yo, I've got me. Ooh, said this and this and that. Mm. My friends don't know these people, so these guys are like, Okay, I'll fuck so and so. So, in a way, I provide these people with a safe space. But it's not a free, like, safe space. They pay for this safe space. Mm. Okay. You, you could a safe space. Yeah? Mm. 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 so and so. For what reason? It's pillow talk. No, 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 you understand. The pillows are saying I should be. But, but, but admit, so they've done that. For what reason is the question? Pleasure. Yeah, but you can't say that to me. At the end of the day, we all need a place to vent. You can't go home to your wife and say, Yo, I fucked with this guy today yeah but but for what you fuck the guy for what so i must say for what yeah <laughs> oh, gosh, you have the pillow talk conversation too. yeah we have the pillow talk conversations and during those conversations i i am curious i want to know how they got to where they are. Like, you can't wake up from a gas one day and the next thing you're a millionaire. Mm. It makes no sense, right? Mm. So I need to know the backstory. And I feel like these people give me this information because they have a certain level of trust. Mm. I would say it was even Tamba. And the good time become a moon. I would say to a certain extent, it was buying Tamba. Because at the end of the day, if you tell your wife, it was okay, in first one, I did this, 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 and that today. Mm-hmm. Your wife is more likely to go tell her best friend. 
Mm. But they know I won't do that. I don't know. They think or assume that I don't know the circle. Mm-hmm. So they think that their secrets are safe for them. They are safe. <laughs> 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 they are you need to assume yeah assume because if they were in the same space i wouldn't be here yeah they all say if i mean you're just telling five viewers if you use them, yeah. <laughs> so, so they assume almost like if i talk i can't really we're prostitutes mm. who's a prostitute gonna tell who's no, gonna listen can... who's gonna listen to a prostitute no one's gonna listen to me. Like you're selling your fucking pussy, like you know. Mm-hmm. So to them, it's nothing like disclosing information to a prostitute. No one's gonna believe a prostitute. So these guys are selling. I see the, the big boys are selling, but they get the tenders. Not all of them, of course. Wait, when you say big boys, are you talking about the gay guys? Or the straight guys who get fucked by gay guys. Wait. Call a straight guy who gets fucked by niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they this say, okay. From my pillow tongues, mm-hmm. they are straight. Boy, boy. They are straight, but they get fucked by gay guys for the bag. Wait, but the... Where does this happen? <laughs> you know, you go out and then a random gay guy comes to you. It's like, innocently, like, I, I want you. What is it gonna take for me to get you? I'm talking for in, in, in terms of getting the tenders. No. I get it. They're gonna ask you, what is it gonna take for me to get you? And you're gonna be like, I want this Tinder. I wanna do this, I wanna do that, I wanna do that. And then they'll be like, okay, I can get this Tinder for you. Obviously, you're gonna give it up. Well, not obviously. Good. But them. When I'm a Tinder guy, right? Yeah, this Lao, Tinder I'm guys. A, which we consider the big boys. I call them Tinder Pinos, but anyway. <laughs> and then good in the I told her according to your source, a bandu babu. Like where do they recite? The ones everybody leaders are not tender now. According to my knowledge mm. from the people that I've been with, it's Bankenfeld. Like mm, the older guys, older generation of men. Like yeah, it's the older generation of men that they have excess. The, so, the new generation doesn't have that much excess. The older generation. The old man, there is a bank in front. <laughs> the older generation has the excess. The excess. So if when you go to them and you're like, I want a tender for this, 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 and that. Mm-hmm. They'll be like, okay, but you have to give me ass. Mm. And you're going to give ass if you want that money. So it's busy. We're seeing people. I can't yell don't want that money. Mm. But I want that money. I want that money. <laughs> no, like in Midbank, they can find you at a club or whatever. You know, there's a lot of things going on in Midbank. Mm-hmm. So if there's guys from Bankenfeld find you with wherever they find you, they make off. They make an offer, like bro, I'll give you this, 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 and that if you give me your ass. Wait, which, where are you moving? Okay. 
You you have a sister. <laughs> you have a sister. Yes. Um, Mbona, Nadi, you were pushing content. I don't know, was it content that you guys were pushing? Korean music to say, Nino Sisako, Omna. Okay, my sister, I introduced her into this whole life that I'm living currently. Like, she didn't know anything about OnlyFans, selling content, and what what. Mm. I'm the one who put her into that life. Yeah. Was it the thing with your mona, you know? We were only fans, you know, or how do you get in conversation? In Kalanja, in Kalanja, the conversation started. Or would you look good name this or? No, like, I was telling her about, like, I've had a regular client for like more than 10 years. Mm. And I introduced her to that guy. That's where the whole thing started for her. Like, okay, there's this guy. Before OnlyFans and everything, mm -hmm. I already had someone who I was selling content to, like, sleeping with and everything. So I introduced her to that guy. And that's where it all started for her. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Cause, can I say she was broke? <laughs> Cause like she needed the funds. For what? Cause it's never zali. Sidaba zali. Okay, true. Sidaba zali. And the way to. But bear in mind that my parents are taking care of two grandchildren. Mm. And they can't do that alone. Like, there's two absent fathers, Gulama, two grandchildren. So, I have to contribute to a certain aspect. Mm -hmm. My sister also has to contribute to a certain aspect. That's where this whole thing started for me. Because I can't let my parents carry the whole burden. Like, my parents have, like, how many kids? Six, seven kids, mm. and now there's two more. So your parents know what you do. My parents don't know what I do. They just know that I have a regular job in Khartoum. Like, how do you tell your parents, Ruti? I'm selling pussy. That's a good one. So, Manji, being here in, in Khartoum, who is a little is it? Yeah. Bula my regular clients. Bula banya bantu. You specify this one does this. This one does that. With Mariana. Yeah, so how do you play around the budget? Yeah? I have someone who pays for my rent. I have someone who pays for my food. If I want to travel, there's someone who pays for that. Like everything I need, there's a minister for that. So, I can't say like there's one person who's doing everything. There's different people who are doing different things in my life. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing? I have a minister of transport, food, rent. Everything is sorted good. Everything that I need is taken care of. By uh, sexual transactions. By sexual transactions. So, I'm not going to give you my phone. So, what shall I do? Does it happen? My parents haven't been here to visit. Hmm. Reason for that? Because hmm? I can't explain it. Like, if they come here, how are you staying in a hotel? Exactly. And you're a student. 
It doesn't make sense. And I'm not ready to explain that shit to them. Because it's parents. So seeing each other all the time you have to travel. Every time, if I want to see my parents or my child, I have to travel. Because mm. I can't bring them here. It's going to bring a lot of questions. And I'm not ready to answer those questions. So she's up my full time. She's only OnlyFans. Sally. Yeah. She's on OnlyFans. Have you had, had the man request things like double sister or what? <laughs> and that the phone has no two. We have had the requests. But am I allowed to say that we've declined the request? Yeah, you are. Yeah, we've had like a ton of requests. But I like. I've fallen no two. Yeah, like, you know, guys, we want to watch, like, watching turns me on, things like that. Wait, have you done content to the both of you? Yeah, we have. Okay. We've done, like, pictures. Okay. Yeah, we've done pictures together. Video? Yeah, we've done videos. But, like, not touching each other's private parts. Neither. Naked, no too. Yeah, like, we... We can go naked together, things like that. But as far as being what, like, what is things like that? <laughs> We've never been intimate with each other. She's never touched my coochie. I've never touched her coochie. Yeah, but she's naked next to you. If you understand, you need things like that. Ninza, at the time, during OnlyFans, alive. I can say. Fulfilling <laughs> the furthest we've ever went is we kissed each other during life yeah for like it was like two guys that's the furthest she's like 23 plus yeah if i'm not mistaken <laughs> 19, 8, 18. Yeah, she was 18. That's when she moved to Pretoria with me. She was 18. <coughs> Where is she currently? She's in Joburg. They know that she's in school. She's in school? Mm hmm. That's what they know. So the life is still continuing in that side? Yeah, the life for her is continuing that time. Mm. 23. 23. And it started 2019. That's when we moved to Pretoria. Like, we'd give guys blowjobs together, but I don't count that as a, a threesome. Together? Together. Like, the Sally Res. Mm hmm. And then, you know, there's a shower for guys, there's a shower for girls. And then me and her would go to Le Shower Bafana and give a certain guy head or something. Upon request? No. Or Justin J? Justin J. Wait, that's what I want to do. I want you to take. To take you back to my uh, God, oh my God! When you when you say you introduced her, like how did she know that she has to like you're saying now? Would you mm -hmm. I'm a blue job? Like he? Do you communicate or are you teaching him? Hey, when I mm -hmm. blue job, like you know, I guess she'd ask me, like bro, you don't have a job. So how the fuck are you making this money when you don't have a fucking job? Yeah. So I tell her, like, this is what I do, niggers, blah, 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 blah. And then I reeled her in, like, slowly. And Conditioning. Made, yeah, like, I didn't want to rush her into anything. So I was like... So she didn't want it first? She didn't understand the concept. Yeah. Quite interest, yeah, she was curious about 
Like who says Wami, she doesn't have a job. Mm-hmm. But every week like Absa was he send her my notifications from overseas. Mm-hmm. So like how does that work? And then I told her, okay, this is what I do. Blah 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 blah. And then I helped her sign up for a OnlyFans. That's when she started her OnlyFans. Because she didn't know anything about it until this bitch came out. <laughs> no, she doesn't know anything that one. My other sister, she doesn't know anything. Like, it's my own private life. I have two sisters, and uh, the other one doesn't know anything. Hmm. What's the worst fetish that you had to attend to? To be able to fulfill rather a request. At the first, sure. Do I have a worst? Oh, weirdest. We can. I can say. <laughs> I don't have the worst, but the weirdest for me was the pegging. Mm. Like, if you're a straight guy, why do you want a dick in your ass? Very point. Like, make it make sense. Mm. I can't want any straight. So, why do you want a dick in your ass? So, and as, as a female, I think you have a friend who might be. That you always talk about sex with. Mm-hmm. Are you? Are you? What? What's happening with you when I'm straight? I'm not straight. Personal. I'm not straight. I'm bisexual. You discovered this when? In 2019, when I moved to the side. Because back there, I didn't have the the freedom to explore my sexuality. Mm. And then when I got here, I was by myself. And then I feel like that's when I got the freedom to be who I was. The baddest. <laughs> that's when I got the freedom to be who I was. And I, that's when I discovered that I don't like dick that much. I mean, you have clients every now and again, and I've always wanted to ask. So is sex man I mean who he say it's a transaction. Sex is sex. Like it doesn't mean anything to me at this moment. Still enjoy it. Eat it. up, bruh, like eat up. Whether I'm Katele or what part is going wrong with me, I'm still gonna do it because it's my job. Okay, how many clients now? Sis Lapulia, when I become a client, the highest number of clients in a day? In a day, I'd say four, five clients. Simultaneously. Like back after back after back, yeah. Back to back clients. I see Chris Kazokeza. I see Chris Kazokeza. Like I fucked someone and went to fuck someone immediately. Point number one, eh? Oh my god. You have you have clients. The last girl we interviewed, it is a, I'm a client's hardly one. He protected sex. Because mm-hmm. they can't pay an X amount of money for it. Right? Tell us about that. Now you are going to this client. This person is paying, you said, mentioned 3, 3.5. Yeah. And I call it depends on the financial bracket. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that because guys can't feel the difference first of all. A pool next. I've fucked 
niggas in it like two niggas in a duration of like less than 20 minutes yeah. like i fuck you now and then i go back to that nigga that i was fed. okay wait. tell us it's story less what happened i don't understand okay so i met up with a guy at a hotel in my bank and then before I had sex with him, someone came and picked me up. And then we went somewhere and we had sex in the car. Where is somewhere? <laughs> somewhere was Cliffentine. <clears throat> somewhere in Cliffentine, there's a park or something. We had sex there. And then he took me back to the hotel. And when I got to the hotel, I fucked the other nigga. Wait, you, you fuck the nigga, and then the other guy comes. Uh-huh. He knows what you just did. Because, I mean, you know what you're fucking on. Uh-huh. So he's aware of what's happening. No, it's not. Kaja, you know what you're doing? You know what you're I'm a very good liar. You know what you're doing? You know what you're doing? What did I tell him? Let me see. What did you tell both of them? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the guy I left at the hotel, I told him no, like, my friend wants to see me for a couple of minutes. A guy? Friend? No, I didn't say, I wasn't specific. Mm-hmm. I was like, a friend of mine wants to talk to me for a couple of minutes. And then the guy at the hotel was like, okay, cool, go talk to your friend. This is after the sex? No, that was before I slept with him. I went out, I met with the other guy who drove somewhere to Cleventine. Mm. And I also lied to that guy. I'm like, yo, mbuye pitori, I'm tired, I'm too lazy to go home, you know, things like that. Mm. So he buys my story. We have unprotected sex. After I have unprotected sex, I go back to the hotel. And I have unprotected sex with the guy who booked at the hotel. And he doesn't know anything till this very day. <laughs> Don't judge During me. During that time, you are not, are you not worried about uh, safety Yako through those transitions? Like... My are, you, safety. Are, you, are, you, are you free to share maybe your status? That's the reason. Yeah, HIV status. I don't know. Are you doing it? Or your prep? What's, yeah, what's the story? Like, why is it so easy for you? Why is it so easy for me? First of all, I work in the medical department. Okay. So it's very easy for me to get access to trip and all that shit. So even if I, I fuck you and put it, I don't give a fuck. Because I know tomorrow when you're sitting in me, I'm going to get everything that I need. Like it's easy access for me. I don't know about you. I don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> Honestly, I don't give a fuck about you. If you contract the disease, then shame on you. But then for me, I have easy access. I can fuck a mutu who's HIV positive and go to work tomorrow and get medication and I'll be fine. Mm. So I don't, like, honestly, I don't care. So is that you confirming that uh, you're still (laughs) negative? I'm negative. My status? Yes. Yeah, I'm very much negative. No STI in total. No, I have no diseases, no STIs, STDs, nothing. So it never happened? No, it's happened. never happened. I've never had an STD or STI. Oh. Like, it's easy for me to protect myself. Since we Yes. Yes. <laughs> Since I'm a nurse. Mm. Like, even this cold wind. We work and our sister and everything, and we do like tests like every week. Mm-hmm. So it's, I don't have a problem. I don't care. 
you're, you're, you're getting me thinking. <laughs> oh is, it, is it like a common thing in the medical world? Maybe because of... In the confession Because of the exposure in the medical, medical. In the medical field, actually you deal with people every day. Mm -hmm. Maybe you see different, you mm -hmm. know, is it a trade in the in that industry? Yo, you guys are going to get me to <laughs> Anyway, it's my profession. We don't care. Most. Because we have access to prevention. Oh. Like, we don't care about you when you and you. If you get exposed, that's your own problem. But at the end of the day, I know that I protected myself. Mm. So, mm. to answer your question, I won't say it's a regular thing or what, what but we are set as no stress. So, call a city right <laughs> now you, you, you leave it on are you gonna be able? I will be able. I've been a nurse for many years. I'm talking about justness. Yeah? Justness. Uh, yeah, I've been a nurse for many years. No, no, no. I'm talking about not having any transaction coming to the side. On the side. Okay, on the side. So grandma and she decide how she Yeah. Decide how so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she do do you ever see yourself now quitting? My job. Yeah. Low the side. No. And focusing on you. No. No. It's a side hustle. It's called a side hustle for a reason. <laughs> what? So with everything that you've been telling us. Uh, is there something that you, you, you regret or you wish you could have done differently? Not only in the industry, but maybe with your life. Are you happy with where you are right now, what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Firstly, I have absolutely no regrets. For everything that I've done. Do I wish that my life was different or I took a different path? Yes, I do. At the end of the day, yo, I don't want to get into this. But like, at the end of the day, I have a kid. Ne? And everything I'm doing right now is going to go back to him. And and I feel like that's my that's my only regret. I don't want like his peers coming like, yo, I saw you about this cushy on OnlyFans. You know, things like that. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that I don't want to happen in my life. Because I can't explain to my child now, Guti. Why was my kuchi on OnlyFans? And I can't say, Guti, I did it for you. Because then it's going to put a burden on them. Guti, my mom had to do this, set her vagina and everything. I'll go on with the... For yeah, me. I'll go on with the using your child as... Excuse. An excuse. Because Guti Zorko does not have a child. Yeah. But I can't speak on her part. Mm. I can only speak for me. Okay. I would say, um, <sighs> at the beginning, my child was an excuse. Mm. But then, now I know that it's not like I need to be accountable for my own actions.
Mm-hmm. I can't say I did this. Ah, oh, my son, my son, my son. No. <clears throat> I could have chosen better. But I decided not to do better. I chose the easy way. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to say... I would say my son was the excuse for what, 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 what. I personally chose the easy way out. Do you see yourself getting married, starting a family? (sighs) (laughs) Would you marry a girl who's been in this industry? I mean, your boyfriend doesn't. He doesn't know now. So, but like, after all this, I don't know what's gonna happen. So, so you're saying you don't, you don't want to get married? I mean, uh, my my goal is not to get married. Like, it's not a mission for me. Whether I get married or not, I like, I don't give a fuck. Honestly speaking. When I do you hate me? <laughs> Like for me, the end goal is not to get married. Like I don't give a fuck whether I get married or not. It's get fun. It's all the same thing to me. Cause like, what's the point? You gonna get married? Or do you think this comes from the trauma? To a certain extent, I feel like it comes from trauma. What trauma? My upbringing, my childhood, you know, all those things. Mm. So I think it kind of had an effect on my thoughts, opinions, and views on men. What, what do you mean by that? Like, can you summarize maybe the opinion? <laughs> summarize it. <laughs> okay. That's a shortcut. Would they give away seven bedroom house? Like. I have one bedroom. Like, <laughs> the 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 oh. the size of the house does not count. Yeah. So let's. I just want to. But the, <laughs> the, the size part. of the house hmm. does not affect you emotionally. What is it that affects you? Okay, like you want me to go there? No, don't go there. You can touch the subject, but at least mm-hmm. give the viewers a clue. Bina, my personal, my perspective really like your uncle My perspective on relationships is basically based on how I was raised. How were you? Guys, you wanna go there? Really? <laughs> I was raised in a home where I was taught a bad man is a good man. Hmm. And growing up, I don't know how to receive. A good man who's a good man. Because I've never seen a good man in my life. Mm. So it's much easier for me to accept the bad man. Because that's what I relate to. Mm. Like a man who beats women. That's what I know. That's what I don't love to be. So if a man is going to come and not beat me, I'm like, ah, Lord. He, he doesn't love me. Because that's not the kind of love that I know. You know? Mm-hmm. Yo, guys. I don't want to go there. Alright. <laughs> um, I think maybe to just quickly <laughs> kick that out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 how would you respond um, to a situation where your sister is reminding you that you are the one responsible for it. Uh, responsible? Would you have 
regrets for initiating her? Yes, I would. Because this is not the life that I wanted for myself. Okay. So, to a certain expect, I'd feel... V- I feel very bad because we'll I'm the one who drove her down the wrong path. Cause na, me na, my reasons for pursuing this life are not good reasons. I can't use my son as an excuse. I wanted easy money. Without working for that money. And obviously, I would feel bad with Buti now. I took my sister and I introduced her to this life. And now she's dealing with all these things. And it's all because of me. So in closing, do you think beautiful women are entitled to receive like this? Because I think it comes from an entitlement mentality. You know. Now I have that entitlement. Yeah. Like, have you seen me? Exactly. That's, that's what I feel like. Like, have you seen me? You can't come into my life with low standards. Yeah. And try to give me low shit. Like, have you seen what the fuck you're fucking with? So, basically, entitlement. I mean, personally, I have that entitlement. Not Finish. Done. Like I don't want anything low the bar. We are done. Then it's entitlement. Advice. Advice. I think you're the only friends. Because any advice. Any advice. <laughs> what? Advice. <laughs> you spoke about one of your clients' wife texting, sending a message to. Facebook. Mm-hmm. Tell us about that. So the wife texted me and then I responded to her text obviously. Mm. And I told I gave her my numbers like text me on WhatsApp so that we can have a proper conversation. And she did text me and we did speak. About about her husband. And everything that he's doing behind her back. So, <clears throat> basically, me and her husband they had an agreement. This husband was going to pay me an amount every month to fuck with him. Mm. Like, if he wanted like nude pictures of me, I would send it to him. And it all came out of this one amount that we both agreed on. Mm. And then, <laughs> my fucking word. And then, this guy, after your cousin. What happened? If you don't understand, what happened? The Kati, Lumfazilo, as a text, what was the reason? Did you find texts? No, like she found texts from me and other girls. But unfortunately, I was the one who responded to her texts. Gule phone, barely out. She texted me from, like she, she first edited me on Facebook. Mm. And then I accepted her request. And then after that, she sent me a text. And... I told her, like, I don't want to talk about this on Facebook. So I sent her my tins. And then she contacted me on WhatsApp. You mentioned this guy being on a show. Mm-hmm. It was like a famous show in which played, I think, on Mucha Love. <laughs> you being... Being one of the 19. 19 girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It begins around good the time. A win. And keep on my notes. I think there was a time where I'm fast. No, like. I, 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 
at that time he was doing for my nudes. Like every time I sent him nudes, he sent me money. So the wife knew because of one of my chats what could I? Yeah, I think she knew. What it was a transaction? It, it was a transaction, nothing much. So you explained it to the wife? No. I didn't tell her. Obviously, like me and your husband, we have this agreement. Blah 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 blah. I didn't get that much into detail. Because, mm. yeah, now when she texted me, she was like, What's going on between you and my man? And I told her, Like, me and your man, we're fucking. That was the only thing that I told her. Mm. Uguti, we're fucking. Uguti, her man is paying me for sex and everything. I did not disclose that information to her. So, this guy is paying for you monthly. Is it a thing which is currently happening? Mind you. It's still happening, mind you, because we're still in contact. Like, anytime he wants something from me, mm. I deliver, but he also knows that he has to deliver. Okay. Have you heard that my clients told you they don't deliver promises? Yes. I've had a couple of clients who don't pay on time. You know, it's called Be like, I'll pay you next week, blah, blah, blah. And then next week comes nothing. And if they do that, that's when I'll be like, bro, I will text your motherfucking wife a girlfriend, whatever it is, and I will let them know exactly what's happening. Because a lot of these guys, they do text me and be like, yo, my girlfriend is asking, like, what's going on between you and I? Mm. So please lie for me and say this, this, this. Like, they will send me a script mm-hmm. and be like, send a voice note and say all these things. Oh. And then I'll send the voice note, like, I mean, I know, but we're just friends, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And if they don't pay, I'll be like, I'll tell your person the actual story. And I'll have the screenshots to prove what your man sent me a script. Mm. And I was playing the script. Currently, do you have people who are owing you? Owing? Mm. Yes. I do have a guy who's on me, and I did threaten him. I know his girlfriend, and I told him if he doesn't pay me, I'm gonna take all this information to his girlfriend. What was the arrangement initially? The arrangement was, I get it. Like a lot of people in Rebek get paid, end of. So I was like, okay, please do this for me. I will pay you end of the month. And he said to me, I'll pay you double. Ne? Mm. So I was like, okay, cool. End of the month came. He didn't pay me double. He didn't send the double amount. He said the original amount. What is doing with this email, the, the request? The request from him. <laughs> okay, so the request is he's gonna come here and then we're gonna fuck. And then he said he's gonna pay me double. And then the time came for him to pay me double. He didn't pay me double. Mm. Like, till this day, he owes me. And I told him, like, if you don't pay me what you owe me by the end of the month, I know your wife, I know who you're dealing with, so if I don't get my money, you'll be sorry. It's all related to your story. I see you. Is there any... Any person that you and I both know, or my be clients, an immediate person. Am I supposed to say? Not the name. 
<laughs> and then what am I gonna say? Of course, there's people that you and I know. How? No, I'm related now, aren't you? How are you related? Okay, you're not blood related. Mm. But there's someone who you dated. Who's. Is it okay if I say husband? Okay. So there's someone who you've dated whose husband is paying me for services. Currently. Currently. This year. Mm. Does that answer your question? 100%. (laughs) 100%. Yeah, there's someone that you and I both know. Keep it this in case you what do you want to confess? In a parrot, parrot, parrot. I thought so. I mean, sneakers are in the round now. We edit it, you know, don't worry about me. When I eat the whole thing, I take a quarter of food. By the time this thing, I'm going to go in the store, I think. I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to go And by the way, there's one of my current clients. Who owes me money? Mm. And that nigga is a dude who's had his ex, ex emphasis, his ex wife text me and ask me about my dealings with her ex husband. So if you're listening, please, Kiku Pachelet, Yaka, you know what you owe me. And so, like, everyone in Red Bank will know who this guy is. So, this guy, he was on a popular show where he was talking about polygamy. So, that guy from Red Bank, he knows what he owes me. And I want my fucking money back. I want my money. Actually, not my money back. I want my money.